here is the team that we're using for season series six today we're going to be testing this team out on the casual ladder but this is a team that is made for the series six ladder uh, it is a Sun team that uses Sunny Day Sableye uh, paired with Charizard. We also have the, uh, you know, dual screen Light Clay Serena. I think it's a great check to things like Grimmsnarl. Uh, we're using a big bulky Gastrodon. We're using a weakness policy Duraludon that's also enabled by our Heliolisk. Heliolisk is another solar power user similar to Charizard. Rocking Ally Switch Bulldoze, Hyper Voice Throat Spray in addition to that, and Thunderbolt. I think this team is going to be so, so, so good. Seriously, I think this team is absolutely amazing, and once the series rolls around into Series 6 on September 1st, this team is going to be so many free wins for everybody. I think the Heliolus Duraludon is actually going to be the game winner most of the time, because we're losing a lot of redirection, we're losing a lot of fake outers that are really popular. And so, we're going to have to start seeing people use fake outers that are less common, like Weavile, like mind Shao. and that's another reason why we're using the rocky helmet on the gastrodon because a lot of the fake outers that we're going to be seeing are fake outers that are holding focus sashes so if you read their fake out if they're going to go for the fake out hearts switch in the gastrodon hearts switch in the serena uh either they lose their sash for it or they don't even get it off because you can go for queenly majesty block everything and uh yeah this team this team actually has the potential to be really really good we got a Pre series six team i think that drift bloom is like super dope i wonder how he procs it Comfey can't proc Drift Bloom, right? Ice Shard with Lapras? Might be it, yeah. I don't have any redirection either. Um, I could quash it and pop it with my Zard. I think that uh, Zard's still really good here. That's probably really good here. He's running the Gastro. And I'm looking at Serena, and I'm not hating it. But I'm thinking that Heliolus is better, because he, he has a Trick Setter on the Shandy, but like we'll see if it matters. We'll be really aggressive this game. Super aggressive. What if it was weakness policy conk? I doubt it. Minimize? I don't think we need minimize in doubles. Not like, like minimize. I actually the one good thing about Z moves, not Z moves, uh max moves is they go through like accuracy checks. So like that really shut out all the people. Like I haven't fought against a single minimize chancy since they came out. I fought against a single one. Can I one-shot this Lapras? I'm actually serious. Can I one-shot it? I bet I could if I had the Sun and a Helping Hand. Alright, so how? what's the base power on this? Because, like, this is 280. This is 225 Sun. This is stronger. I want to see how much do we, I want to see how much we do. What are you going to do to me? What are you going to... Are you going to put a Resonance up? Well, I got way too much damage for that. He funny switches out the uh, Klefki. I mean, he, he already is, he's not switching. Switch out the Comfey for the Drift Bomb and go for like a Ice Shard in that slot. Just fall to your Lapras and then regain board position. That'd be actually super dope. Now, let's see it. I thought about just max guarding Zard this turn and setting Sunny Day. And then next turn, uh, I could go for a Helping Hand in the Sun. But then that we lose the game if he just goes for the Resonance in the Sableye, so... That's why we're deciding just to pull the trigger. I want to see how much this does versus a Lapras. Because actually, like, I haven't fought against Lapras yet uh, in Series 6. So I want to see like how much damage. If we can do upwards of 80%, we're in a really, really good spot. Yeah, that Lapras looks to be really, really aggressive. Especially if it's weakness policies. If like the Comfey Giga Drain, which probably has like low investment, probably no investment, did that much to it, we're going to one-shot it. It's neutral damage. 150 special attack boosted by life four boosted by some boosted by stab yo are you gone are you gone though that's a lapras down for the count is that easy it's just that easy. hope that giga dream was worth it bro nice max and now it's funny even if you didn't max like i can i have helping hand in the stable light too do you see how like busted that is like if if it if for any reason I needed more damage, I have it. Oh, Shandy, nice, nice job, nice job, Shandy. I kind of wish I had Taunt here. Uh, the right per the right place to nuke the Shandy though. Yeah, dude, all my teams are one that just everyone's like Lapras, Lapras. It's like just one shot it. I have so many different teams that just one shot Laprases. You can drink as many as you want. 
Uh, and the reason we're foul playing the Shandy is because he can go for like fake or like Sash Trick Room. So we want to be able to KO it. Yeah, Trick. Okay, go for it. Let's see. What item am I getting? Save, I got a Choice Scarf. Okay. Oh, he took my Sash. Well, now that's fine. We're still going to break it. Yeah, he's like, aha, I took your Sash. And it's like, did you though? <laughs> did, did you take my Sash? I mean, you did. Oh, wait. Now my Sableye gets those big KOs. And then we have Gastro in the back. So gotta watch out for those good drains still. Um, probably after the Klefki. Uh, Klefki's still ticking out too. This is the team for se season six. That's why I said this is the team. Everyone can use it. Absolutely free master ball. Conk gone. You dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I can only use foul play. That's fine. I'm gonna use foul play. We still haven't seen his sash, so it's still right to go up for that thing. And if he has Cobra Berry, it's better to go for the Sun Boosted one. Battle's canceled. Four stop! Easy. I try to use Lapras. What now? What now? Luxray is really good. I agree. Luxray is really good. Some of the problem Pokemon for Luxray were like Dragapult and like Rillaboom for the most part, and like. They're not here anymore. Look at that Series 6 team. Talonflame, Gastrodon, Mirmatch, Arcanine, Wise Choice, Silvalee, Urshifu. Love to see it. Uh, I do think Charizard is very, very good here because Charizard outspeeds that Urshifu by quite a bit. By like two. <laughs> um, and then we have a good match versus all of his mons. So like Zard's amazing here. I think Zard's Sableye is pretty good here. You want Serena here because Serena is really good. So you, you see what I was talking about? I was talking about this team's made to beat those Series 6 teams. Serena shuts down almost all of those picks uh, to an extent. And then we need one more Mon in the back. I'm thinking the Heliolisk. Just because we're going to have Sun up, uh, be able to go for those big solar power boosted moves. Yeah, I don't think we really need the Duraludon here. There's no real redirection, and Duraludon gets kind of washed by Urshifu. So yeah, we got four. Let's go. Oh, P2 is a little bit too busted. That's why, that's why P2's done so. Yo, 10 bits, what's up? Not much, my friend. We're just playing some Mons, testing some Series 6 rental codes. Well, rental code. This is the first team I made for Series 6. It's pretty good. All right, let's go. So, Urshifu Silvely. Uh, let's see if it's any sort of, like, typed Silvely. That's Water Urshifu. So, I think we're just going to Airstream that thing. I mean, I just outspeed it. I'm pretty sure I still KO if I just go for a sunny day. I could probably ignore it, actually, and just blast burn. What's he going to do to me? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So we're actually going to nuke the Silver Leaf and go for a sunny day. And then since we're setting a sunny day, the Urshifu can't really do anything about it. Yeah, I'm dope. I I'm, I'm thinking this is nice. I'm thinking this is nice. Good afternoon. How's it going? She's pouring on Z. Yo, Trento's gifting a tier one sub. Yo, gifting one to Alex. Yo, uh, paying it forward. Yo, appreciate it. Yo, appreciate it. It's the first gifted sub in the channel, though. Thank you so much. You get the new sub gifter badge. Appreciate that. So, Wildfire's going up. We're hopefully nuking the Silvely right up the board. Silvely's a little bit of an enigma. And it's done, so wasted on Route 1. And let's see what this Urshku's really going to do. Uh, again, I set the sun with my Prankster Sableye. So, even if he wants to go for, like, Surging Strikes, it's not going to do any damage. Sub. Okay, that's weird. Again, I don't think that I care. What's he gonna do, Dynamax and like lose it? I'm gonna just ignore that thing for a while. Uh, I'm eventually just gonna be able to come in, and he's, he's taking the wildfire damage too. I'm just gonna eventually gonna be able to come in lefties. That's cool. I can come in with uh, Heliobisk and go for a Hyper Voice boosted by the solar power, and Hyper Voice goes through Sub, because it's sound move. A lot of people don't know that uh, Substitute does not block sound moves. How much damage to do uh, Blast Burn? It's a uh, 150. So there's a Talonflame. Again, I don't really care if you want to go for like Tailwind here, because we have Quash. Uh, let me think about how I need this. I'm just going to Airstream here. I'm going to Airstream your Talonflame, and I, I guess I can go for a Foul Play. I think you Foul Play into this slot in case he wants to max it.
Because we already got the sun up. We don't need to quash anything. It's 150. It doesn't get any stronger. It just it caps at 150. Are you maxing? I hope you're not maxing that Urshifu. You should be maxing the talent plane. And going for like airstream trades. Yo, thank you guys for the hype train. Appreciate it. Level 2. Yeah, Yawn should be considered a set move. I agree. I fully agree. I should have just switched to my pre Marina. I think he's going for a fire attack, though. I think he's going for a max flare into the Sableye. Airstream. Okay. So this is going to let him outspeed my Zard, by the way. And which is, which is totally fine. I have no problem with that. Get those big sashes up. Yeah, that's not gonna do that much. Bulk up. He does have sub bulk up. Yo, you're, you're on top of it. Bulk up. Like I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Like we just bring out the Heliolisk and just end this man's career. This town flame is gonna get melted. I think I said hi earlier. Yo, thank you for saying hi. Look at that. Melted. And you know what? That's why we double targeted with the Sableye. Just in case. Just in case. Sableye. Dealing the finishing blow. Don't you just love to see? OMG. And with your last Monchi. Dynamax down. I got that speed boost right now. I'm still fashion Urshifu. The only reason why I was that turn was because he got the immediate tailwind. Or the immediate speed boost from his uh, Talonflame. And if it would have like max guarded, yeah, that might have been a dicey turn. But it would just been delaying the inevitable for the most part. Like I still have the Heliolisk. It would just come out and go like Herp Derp, uh, Hyper Voice. We should be fine. Appleton. All right. Um, I think we just nuke the Appleton, right? Let me go into the first shoe here. Just to help break the sash. I will see if we even can. Not sash, uh, break the sub, sorry. I don't think I can break the sub with Thoughtplay, though. So the Appleton. I think the Urshifu actually can just, like, KO my Heliolisk. Let's be real. Yo, what's good? Not much. Airstream's up, though. We big fast. Goodbye, Appleton. Yo, you don't see things one-shot Appleton very often. It's not that normal. My Sableye is so fast right now, guys. Little speedy boy. Who are you going after, Chief? You are going after Sableye, right? Because I ain't doing shit to my Zard. Yeah. Okay. It would be crazy if that got, like, redirected the next two hits to my Zard. Like, my partner Pokemon, that'd be so sick. Alright, so we have Zard that's super fast. And we're going to make a situation where, like, he can't stop both of us. You can't stop both of us. You either have to fight my Zard or fight my Heliolisk. Heliolisk going to be getting that damage. And Zard's eventually going to get in there. Eventually, I'm going to get in there. And I don't even need the Air Slash. I can just go for the uh, Solar Beam. Hyper Voice. He does outspeed the Heliolisk, because right now his Urshifu does have a plus one speed. But he doesn't outspeed the Zard. So far, my Pika testing main conclusion is the AV G Max Offensive Blastoise is Water Hail Chip. Yeah, I would agree. It, Blastoise is dope. Blastoise is so underrated. Noxibusi was talking about Blastoise the other day and saying, like, imagine if Blastoise got Intimidate. That'd be a crazy world. All right, who are you hitting, Urshifu? Where are you looking? Surgeon Strikes, you hitting the, are you hitting the, uh, well, Heliolisk over there? Hitting the Helios a little bit? Are you hitting the Zard? Oh, so you've you've chosen to die. You've chosen the lesser of two evils. Look at our boy Helios. Look at it. Oh my gosh, that big single target stabbed Hyper Voice. Did we get the flex? Did we get the flex proc? It didn't even let us proc our throat spray. Next time we'll proc it. That's a that team has a flag on. We win. All right. I mean, technically it's a series six team. Let's see how do we, how do we want to deal with it. Um, I'm liking the Zard. I like Gastron here too. I like Zard a lot. So we're gonna go big Zard. I think Sableye Zard's fine. 
I think you bring Gastrodon just because there's so many physical attackers and a, and a water type. The Gastrodon is still kind of good here. And then I think you just bring the Heliolus in the back. Cool. We're ready to go. Let's go. It's time. You should totally be able to Destiny Bond Dynamax Mons. They should not be unaffected by Destiny Bond. Choice Band Adaptability Crawdon. Yo, don't get Gastrodon, Chief. Don't fight Gastrodon. Let's see it. Yo, he loved it. Yo, he has Gastrodon coverage right now. All right, what do I actually want to do? I ought to be both these guys. I think you just like, is it really sashed? On the Crawdon? I mean, this is the play. For Ice Shark, we buy Weedus Pol or Weedus Policy Ally. Oh, maybe. We like. Procking a leafy on weakness policy with ice shard that'd be dope I'm gonna laugh that like crawdon is like protecting Crawdon's an okay Pokemon. I've never really been a big fan of it. I never really have I know a lot of people like crawdon gets like adaptability has such great stabs being dark and water gets like knock off Superpower aqua jet waterfall liquidate so many cool moves. It gets dragon dance, but I've just I've never been a fan of crawdon Corfish is way cooler Yeah, if we take out the Leafeon, he can't hit the Gastrodon. He might be Swords Dance in this turn, because he didn't Aqua Jet either. Alright, show me... Don't go chasing Waterfalls, Crawdon. Crab Hammer, oh my gosh, not today. Mega Beedrill Adaptability, that's a popular one. My favorite one's probably Porygon. I've done so many things with Porygon, I've been using that mod since before, it was cool. Someone left a comment on one of my videos the other day actually saying like, yeah, I remember the early days of VGC back in 2016. And I was thinking like, the hell? Early days? Like, what do you mean early days yeah, of right. VGC that's right. back in 2016? It's like, bro, come on, man. I think I can just Oko this Flygon. Early days. 2016, bro. It was like seven years before then. The early days for them, you know. I think it's dead. Oh my gosh, is that a sash? Or is it just that one? That's a sash. Okay, okay. Adam and Porygon, <laughs> Lamau. All right, let's, let's see how much damage we do to the Crawdon. We're at plus one. We outspeed because our Gastrodon has that speed right now. Oh my gosh, that damage. That's what Crawdon... Crawdon Fly got the same energy. Both of them are things that I think are bad. Dragon Rush, though. Well, now. You could kill yourself, Chief. The Rocky Helmet Gastrodon getting a double KO. <laughs> oh, Flygon's so bad, man. Oh, oh, nothing makes me happier than just seeing Flygons, like, fail at life. Like, if there was, like, a Flygon fail compilation, I'd watch that every day. Are he DC? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, we take those. All right, cool. Yeah, we found a Series 6 team. Uh, Alolan Raichu Pincurchin, Virizion, Snorlax, very good choice, uh, Clefairy and Jelly Scent. I like that a lot. I do have to watch out for Raichu uh, if I'm trying to use Sable. Like, both those... Zard gets kind of dumpstered by, like, both of those. But I think I'd get more dumpstered... Let me think about how I'm going to do this. I think you want to go Heliolus here. Because I don't think he just ends our career. And this also gets around the redirection if he wants to do that type of thing with, like, Clefairy, I guess. I don't think I necessarily need Sableye. I could get away with Sableye, though. I can, I could totally just go, like, Sableye Zard. But this would be a lot better if you want, like, Raichu... Um, if you want, like, for a Clefairy play, Duraludon's better. We don't necessarily need Gastrodon. I don't think we need Serena. I think that Zard's still a wise choice. And this is the thing about this team. Like, what do we really bring for, like, the last slot? Um, foul play is not that great. I actually, I'll, I'll bring the foul play. 
I guess, only because it's decent versus like Jelly Scent and Raichu. And if that Snorlax pops off, it is usable. Let's go. Vacation was good. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's uh, the standard melodic. I think the standard melodic is like protect, recover, you know, scald, ice attack. And that's standard. Coil hypnosis isn't necessarily standard. That's a more of a specific like team set. Right, so let's see, Raichu Snorlax, okay. Rocky on doubles is good. Yo, Blue, drop it in the sub, yo. Appreciate it. I miss the single streams, yo. Uh, we have a singles video going up later today. If you want to look at that, it's going up at 5 p.m. So Raichu and Snorlax. I bet they're waiting Snorlax so they can switch out. Um, let's just see. We're going to go for the biggest bulldoze you ever did see. And I think we are actually just going to go for a warm wind to lower the Snorlax's special attack. Sorry, the Snorlax's attack. I wonder if he's going to go like belly drum. Because if he is going for the belly drum, we do have Sableye in the back. All right, so we are going to go after the Raichu. Remember, we're Dynamaxing our Duraludon here. And our Duraludon has a weakness policy that we're going to be enabling with our Bulldoze, right? It's super, super nice. So let's see what he goes for. I'm I'm just thinking, like, even if you wanted to, like, fake out my Heliolus, which is totally fine. You should not be fake outing versus Serena team, by the way. Just throwing that out there. You probably shouldn't. Speed swap. That's fine. I do not, I do not care about that Pokemon. I don't care that your Snorlax is fast. It does not bother me. You can totally go for your Belly Drum. That's why I brought Sableye in the last slot, is because Snorlax can have Belly Drum. With a Sash Sableye, I think we should be fine. We can also, like, quash it. Um, he hasn't maxed yet. I could have nuked that slot. I definitely could have. And another cool thing about him Belly Drumming right now is technically, like, you know, I I'm using my Worm Wind. And we're going to be able to, you know, go for that big, big damage. And lower his attack stat. Any attack if he's on Sableye? No, you don't use any attack if he's on Sableye. Foul play doesn't come into effect with the attack. How you doing? You're on Flawless. What item was that? Is that an eject button? Oh, is that a weakness policy? Whoa, weakness policy. Well, you're still gone, so. Weakness policy, right? You, huh? That's dope. All right, so that guy's done so. All right, so let's see. He's probably going to be maxing with the Lax here. And I do think Lax is a problem. Lax is definitely a problem. But we'll see how I want to deal with it. I do outspeed that Raichu, by the way. Uh, wait, do I? No, Raichu's 110. That sucks. Heliolisk is a 109. Ugh. So he's going to be able to outspeed my Heliolisk. Wait, no, he's bulldozed. I do outspeed. All right, cool. We're good. All right, let me think about how I want to do this then. Being able to outspeed that Ra uh, Raichu now, or that Snorlax now, is actually really, really nice. So we'll see. Weakness policy Raichu. Yeah, that's weird. That is definitely a weird one. T-Fish dropping the sub 10 months, my guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And remember, we do have this massive drill we've done right now. Uh, I'm actually thinking about going for like a second Bulldoze. I'm going to go for a Bulldoze and a Protect. Um, just because I want to get that second speed debuff on that Snorlax so I can still attack with my Duraludon. I think Duraludon, I think if we drop the Duraludon to minus two, the Dur or the Snorlax to minus two speed, or, eh, we'll see. We'll see if, like, we are able to outspeed with Duraludon against that Snorlax. But I'm pretty sure he's going in with, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going into the Duraludon. Right? Are you really going after my Heliolus here? He's probably just going for a follow me. Yep. Which, like, I don't know why you... F like, I guess you're going to follow me versus, like, Duraludon. But, like, it's okay. So, Bulldoze hits everybody. I'd love it if my Duraludon could outspeed that Lax next turn. Because I just want to get the Clefairy off the board. So I can come in for a foul play. Quake. Oh, man. Value. Haven't seen Snorks in a while. It's a really good mod. Uh, especially with the new format change. All right, so there's nothing else I could really do other than, like, ally switch here. I think I will go for it, too. I think I'm going to ally switch, and I think I'm going to steel spike the uh, Clefairy. Just because I want it gone. Helios is good, but it's not, like, required, required, you know? And I'm hoping my Duraludon outspeeds this Lax now, but we don't know for sure. Protect. Okay, yeah, that's smart. Let's see how this is going to go down, then. And once the Snorlax isn't, like, uh, full, full HP, we'll be in a good spot. And there's no reason just to go for, like, a Hyper Voice here. It's just, you just throw it away. All right, cool. He is actually fast. Wow. He's still faster than my Duraludon, even at uh, minus one speed. Or well, I'm at minus one, and he's at minus two. But he's still faster than me. So, okay, Zard will outspeed. 
just sucks that the Zard set isn't exactly what I want. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Yo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, so Snox has one more turn of max left. I think you sent out the Zard and Heart Switch in the Sable Eye. I wonder how much damage he does with like a max move to my Durable Gone. What do you guys think? You think he one shots me through Protect? The problem is, if I don't get that Clefairy off the board, we just lose. I think he's gonna go after the Zard. I think he wants us to replenish. Big fan of your content, especially your sets. Yeah, I appreciate it. I do appreciate that. Now let's see if he takes the bait and goes for Zard. Damn. Yeah. Lost the 50-50 there. Oh, it doesn't get the KO though. And now he doesn't have uh, like max anymore. He loses a lot of effectiveness there. I wish I had fake it on this exact Sable I set right now. Heal Pulse is fine. It's not a big deal. See, the issue with this is, like, I need to get, like, a fairy off the board. Yo, Schmitty, gifting a tier 1 sub. I appreciate you, my friend. If I attack with the Dirt I'll just lose it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna switch in the Clefairy, or switch in the Zard, go for an Air Slash, and then next turn I go for a Foul Play. How you been? I'm doing alright. Just watch the Jigglytuff video. Gotta say, I cannot see anyone messing with the Puff. Yo, it's good. That's uh, really good that the Protection be on cooldown. Um, I wanna see a High Horsepower? Show me the High Horsepower. Show it to me. Don't you dare replenish my Dura Ludon. Or sorry, don't you dare like, facade my Dura Ludon. I'll be so sad. High Horsepower, awesome. All right, so we could totally blast burn that Clefairy to get it off the board. It's at plus two special B, right? Do I need to blast burn that thing? Or can I just get away with air slashing it? It's stabbed, boosted by solar power. I think I get away with it. At the very least, I don't think he's going after my Sable Eye right now. We'll see. Protect, he goes for the double. Okay, and he's not even following me. All right. He goes for the double. That's fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. Sunny and Sable, yeah, that's the that's the thing with Sable and Zard. It's like really, really good. Yep, so look at that damage. Alright, so at this point he's probably gonna like high horsepower my Dura Ludon. And like follow me. So like I'm looking at it, like let me think about how I do outspeed that Snorlax now. I, I no, I don't really. He has so many special debuffs that, like, even a helping hand Draco wouldn't kill it. No, let's just go like this. Yeah, Blast Burn exists. It's big. Yeah, I don't even outspeed that Snorlax right now. There's the follow me. Damn. Oh, well. Let's see if he's actually high horsepower in my Sableye. Like an absolute mad lad. All right, cool, cool. All right, if this crits the Clefairy, we're in a good spot. Because Clefairy has, like, no attack, but, like, Okay, that doesn't do shit. I mean, I'm thinking we have to go for, like, Flash Cannon in there. And, like, Helping Hand Boost it. And you can't you can't just go for the Draco. I don't think you can, because he still has him on in the back. Right, he still has something in the back. He's going to protect Clefairy this turn anyways. Follow me, that's fine. We have a, we're literally a Durable Gun, guys. Let's see. Yep, we outspeed. Yeah, he has to miss high horsepower. Ah, damn. Well, oh, he hits a Sableye. Oh, that's incorrect, Chief. You are incorrect. Oh, he didn't, he didn't go after the good one. I'm, I'm still playing the game, guys. I'm still playing. We got shots here. 
Because that Clefairy is like big useless. Yeah, he has like friend guard and plus two special D. It makes sense we're not doing any damage here. But we'll see. We'll see what the last Mon is, right? If the last Mon's something that's just garbage. It's probably like Verizian. Does he have Verizian in his team? I don't remember. He had like Jelly Scent. Jelly Scent's not garbage. That's gonna be Protect on cooldown for Clefairy. Will we be streaming playing Tony Hawk's Remaster? Probably eventually, yeah. Alright. Yo, I, I think that's really dope that we were able to actually like come back in that situation. We haven't won yet, but I'm actually really happy that I'm still able to like... Still able to do this correctly. Verizian. I knew it was Verizian! Alright, is there anything we can do against Verizian? Like, we have to protect here. We have to protect here. And, like, I think we have to, like, high-end foul play crit that Clefairy. Like, I think that's our only real out. And then we can go for, like, a Quash Draco crit. I think that's our only play. All we can do. I know foul play doesn't do shit to this Clefairy, but, like, it's literally the only thing we can do, so... Close combat, yep. And we don't know anything about that, about that Brizian set. Like, it might be choiced as Mui possibly away. Uh, I think we have to do it again. Double protect time. Have to. Like, this is our only play that we could possibly make, I think. Um, if we go for the Quash, he'll follow me, right? So we just got to double. Double! Oh, double or nothing! Yo, we're playing the game right now. We are playing the game right now. Don't hit my save. It is. Hey, yo, we're coming back. We are coming back to reality. Playing to our outs? Oh my gosh, we just KO'd a Clefairy. And now there's another friend guard user. And now I'm able to go for, um, for Quash. And a crit Draco. I could also go for a dark... Oh. Hear me out here. If we flinch him with this, if we flinch him with this Dark Pulse, right? If we flinch him with the Dark Pulse and then next turn go for Protect Foul Play after he's going to have a plus one. And then the turn after that to go for the Quash. So like Quash Dark Pulse for the flinch. Because like he's a Drizian. He's going to live the Draco, guys. He's going to live. He's going to live a crit Draco. I think this is the play. Yo, Shogun, gifting some tier 1 subs. Yeah, I think that, like, Quash, I think it's this. We want to give him justified boosts. And flinch him. DP, baby! Flinch it. Give me that justified boost. We got to play to our outs right now. Flinch it. Ah, never lucky. Hey, what are you going to do, right? What was I supposed to do, right? Yeah, it had a lot of special diva. So, like, the plan there was to flinch it, give it the plus one uh, attack boost off the Justified, and then from there, protect Dura Mudon and go for an absolutely massive foul play uh, that dealt even more... He was Life Orb, too. Uh, dealt even more damage on top of the fact that he was, uh, you know... Like, this foul play would do over half right now. And then um, we just, from there... Uh, like, we protected, baited him out, and then after that, just go for, like, a Quash Draco meter and win the game. We tried, though. You go, you can't say we didn't almost bring this one back. If it's choice, no, he's life orb. We already saw it. We already saw the life orb. What do you think about a uh, knockoff instead of foul play on Sableye? Yeah, uh, it's not not really important. Uh, I think foul play is better. Um, just because, like, the like for this game, for example, like, the abundance of, like, laxes. Uh, like, knockoff is a good play, but, like, not on this team, because this team is a little bit more one-dimensional i would say where like we have a game plan like we don't want to play games that go that long with this team we don't want to play games that go that long with this team like what would we be be knocking off most of the time that like foul play wouldn't be better against like you got to think about it like we're locking off an eviolite okay and then and then what you know it's like not not the best All right. love this look at that rain energy probably gonna be like misty seeds halucha that's dope how do I want to deal with that? Because, like, I think you just go Sableye, though. Uh, Sableye, Charizard seem pretty good. Sableye, Zard. I also think, like, 
uh, Dura Wudong can be really, really good here. Because Dura Wudong's great for, like, Kingdra's and stuff like that. Yo, Schmitty with 500 bits. Yo, Schmitty going to the top right now. Schmitty going to the top of the bit leaderboard. Let's see it, though. Do we want to... What do we really want to do, though? I think you've still been Gastro for sure. And do I just want... I'm still going to bring the Dura Wudong. I think Dura Wudong's still just a solid enough pick to bring it. I think Heliolisk is good, but, like... I think Duraludon can... No, you know what? Let's just bring the Heliolisk, because Heliolisk is cool. We could also bring the Serena here. Serena's not that great versus Scizor. Do I care about that? No, let's bring the Serena. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. I want I want Heliolisk. Let's do it like that. There we go. Yo, Schmitty with the V. That's what we're talking about. You say you find Scissor to be underwhelming this generation? Uh, I just think it's the way that we're looking at using Scissor probably. Isn't the way it has to be used. I think Scissor's biggest, like, Scissor's really impactful in the team preview, right? And so, like, having a Scissor says you can do X, Y, Z things, but you don't necessarily have to, like, commit to doing those things. And there are, there are a couple other moves that Scissor can get that, like, require checking, right? So, like, I almost brought the Serena just to stop Bullet Punch. I am over, over bringing certain Pokemon to beat certain things. And it's hard to say if, like, he's going to do those things or not. But I'm still having to allocate the resources to deal with it. He has that special B boost. I still think I one-shot, though. Like, if we quash it. So we can go for the max. So you guys can see it's a 150. So it's goes to, like, 225. See, I don't think he one-shots me, though. That's, like, kind of what I'm looking at. This is much stronger. I'm thinking if I even have to quash it. That's kind of what I'm looking at here. Like, do I even want to quash? I'm going to do this in case he switches out Weezing for Politoed. And then we will max. And I think I'm actually going to put up a, burn, a wildfire. Yeah, let's go. How would you choose Skydrop? Yeah, I agree. Skydrop's pretty dope. Sad to see it gone. I don't know if we ma if like Oko, like a max Luchi, because he has a specialty boost. Now you can do whatever you want, my guy. This isn't one of those PG streams. So Sunny Day looks like he's not maxing. Okay, I go for it. I'm happy I got my Sunny Day up like right now. So we're probably gonna one shot Thunder Punch. Go for it. Like. The thing is, like, Halucha got that boost, but Halucha didn't... Oh, Para, are you freaking real? Well, I'm happy I'm not airstreaming, then. Taunt, yeah, go for it. That Thunder Punch Para is dumb. I'm happy I'm not airstreaming, though. Yeah, you're gone. And your Weezing's taken out, too. Getting a, the Wildfire is really important. Just, oh, man, that Thunder... That Thunder Punch Para sucks. We would've been so fine. We would've been so fine. He's gonna bring out Kingdra right here, and then hard switch out the uh, King the Weezing for Politoed. Quash Saber reminds me of when you quash your own Scarf Extra Drill versus your opponent's Band of Force Dragapult. That was such a sick play. Yeah, and he's gonna switch out Weezing for uh, the other one. I mean, you just have to do it like that. Show me that Polito. That sucks, though. Like, it really, really sucks if we got paralyzed. I just want to be able to attack. It sucks that you paralyze the Charizard, too, like with Misty Trainer, because I'm in the air. Yeah, let's go, Gastro. Gastro Zard. They don't even make combos like that anymore. It's so good. Combos are so good. Oh, let's see, they could be going for Dracos. They could be going for so many things. Please let me hit this Kingdra. I would like that quite a bit. And you're going to see our Gastro set's actually pretty... A little bit too standard. I'm going to explain the reason why in just a minute. Guys are... Oh, we take those. That's value. Storm Drain. A ticket to a better night's sleep. Yes, Airstream. It's so important that we got that off. 
That's a lot of damage. That's like a full tick of all the fire damage together. Storm Drain on Gaster. Yep. And our, you're going to see our moveset's actually pretty important. Uh, we're rocking the Scald, obviously. The Earth Power, obviously. Rock and Recover. But the last move on Gaster I think that's really, really important is that we're rocking Protect. And that's for this exact situation when the King's just going to try and nuke my Gastro and we're going to not... We're going to not die, and we're going to make it so the Politoed can't do anything uh, against our Zard. That's the idea. Guard? Yeah, he's probably just going for... I have no clue what he's doing here with that Politoed. Jujun of Hurricane or Ice Beam, if you consider uh, Storm Dream Maractus. Yeah, Maractus is still good, too. Because the game about Maractus is, like, you can go Maractus as, like, a pseudo core for user, too. Icy Wind's fine. I'm already slow enough. He's just wasting turns off his own max by doing this, so I think that's okay with me. I think I'm actually just going to pop the recover, because I think he's going to go after the, uh... Yeah, this is my last turn max, right? Yeah, we're still the fire do our work. Yeah, I can just switch that Zard out. I don't need to have it just die in here. Do I actually? Actually, let me think about that. I have Heliolisk in the back. Great versus Weezing. Heliolisk is still, like, really, really good here. Zard's not important. That's fine. I don't think you can one-shot our Gastro. Helping out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pout, because I'm gonna die. Just kidding. I'm both these but... Are you even orbed? I'll see. He is orbed. Wow. That's just how much damage he does. This is how much damage I do. Get out of here with the... After that Storm Drain proc? Your season starts on the first. Yo, Charizard. Big air slash. Big enough. Definitely big enough. But you still take him, my guy. Press one if streamer is a cutie, yo. I think you're getting my stream confused with uh, A-Drive. Alright, we're just gonna Earth Power the Weezing. Might as well try and protect. Because we don't need to do anything. We need to throw away our Zard here. We might as well just save it for correct board positioning. What's up, my guy? Not much. We're just playing some Pokemon. Testing some Series 6 teams. Yeah, Gastro is actually really dope. Very, very, very good Pokemon. Really going after my gastro here? How was your vacation? It was good. Vacation was good. I'm outspeeding your wheezing with my gastrodon because I'm the best player that's ever played Pokemon. This gastrodon set's actually really cool. It has uh, investment in special attack, special D, HP, and speed. Very, 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 very good. Gastrodon. The undefeatable. I'll take the win. Yeah, Rain's going to be a popular matchup for Series 6, and even after the Thunder Punch para, we still played very well.